What's up, card masters? Nightside here, back with a super short video. Typically, the weapon trailers for Sunbreak releases in threes, but we got an extra one just the other day, the Hunting Horn, that got surfaced earlier on the Japanese site that eventually went public for all the others. I finally just found the time to cover it, so let's go and break it down. Demoing off the full Garangolm set, we're introduced to the new Silkbind attack, Silkbind Shockwave, which swaps with Slide Beat, and the Switch Ability Swing Combo, which swaps with the Crusher Attack Combo. The Silkbind Shockwave wraps your Hunting Horn in Iron Silk while doing a backflip strike. According to the website, for a short period of time, any attacks performed causes the Silk to vibrate, which causes a time-delayed Shockwave that triggers additional hits, which can cause major stun, exhaust, and part damage. The effects don't start triggering until after the Hunter lands from the backflip, but you can see that the Shockwave is in effect because you can see small sound orbs floating around wherever you made contact. This Silkbind attack has so much potential and utility that I'm sure it's going to get a lot of use, simply just for the extra stun damage. But getting exhaust and part break damage too? Icing on the cake. Now, it's safe to say that armor skills like Slugger, Partbreaker, and Stamina Thief will stack in addition to the Shockwave. I'm sure it'll be lower on the list of armor skills to prioritize depending on if you're trying to max out DPS or support skills based on your build, but Master Rank armor sets are bound to get more slots and skill levels, so I'm sure we'll see some very interesting builds. Moving along, we have the Swing Combo. The Swing Combo is a two-hit attack that allows you to quickly shift directions. It's pretty damn useful. Basically, if you can anticipate an attack incoming, you can use this to evade and of course just reposition in lieu of rolling while playing a note. All in all, it's added in mobility to keep up the combos and pressure. The video ends off showing everything in action. Opening up with the swing combo, rotating to the right, to an overhead slam, to a roll into a silkbind shockwave, skill swap right into the slide beat, and finally finishing off with the infernal melody right into another overhead slam. Looks like the key to playing Hunting Horn going forward is to really work the Silkbind Shockwave in between combos. And that's pretty much it. Much shorter this time, especially since this is just a one-off video, but the info covered was relatively straightforward. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment about your thoughts on Hunting Horn, and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the bell icon to find out the next time I post. You can also catch me live on Twitch for a variety of content, including Apex Legends, Elden Ring, and of course, Monster Hunter. That's it for me, Cartmasters. As always, get mad, get sad, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! I shut believe the fuck you! Up. No, no, shut the fuck up, dude. Hard Fs. <laughs> you know what you can say hard Fs with, too? Friend! <laughs> 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 I don't know why, but that made me thought of like, you as the best friend. Stupid. Oh, shit. <laughs>